talked about coming into this game that you know, this, this team will be a work in progress and that has a lot to work on. We've seen some positives and, and uh, have a lot of things to get better at. And uh, you know, I think we saw that tonight. You know, re re really pleased in general that you know, it was a total team effort. You know, we had every, everybody in double figures. Uh, I thought everybody contributed and did some really positive things. Uh, you know, I think you, you, you go down the, the, the stat sheet, and, and obviously stats don't always tell the story. But, you know, Demontre Harris doesn't score, and I, I actually thought he was a difference in the game. I thought he was a tremendous presence for us on both ends. Uh, you know, his ability to, to pass the basketball, uh, even though he wasn't credited with an assist, just, you know, leads to positive things offensively. You know, defensively, obviously, with five blocks, he, he was a real presence. You know, grabbed six rebounds. And you know, I think you know as we move forward, this is kind of how this team will be. Uh, you know, maybe he didn't score tonight, but he, he, he was still a huge impact for us. You know, R.J. Slauson comes off the bench uh, again. You know, I keep talking about seven and, and and eight possible starters. I think that's a great example. I mean, there's no question. You know, you saw what he can do tonight. You know, almost a double double. You know, obviously as a team, we've got things that we've got to get better at. We know rebounding is a concern, and, and, and some of that's because defensively we had a lot of lapses, which you're going to have in your first game, and it led to easy rebounds for them. But and, and credit credit uh, Kentucky Westman. I thought they played really hard, especially down the stretch there. And we've got to take care of the ball better. You know, again, I, those numbers are a little misleading. I think we had four inside the last two minutes when they went against pressure. That, that's my fault. We haven't worked against that very much, uh, you know, by design because we've been focusing on other things. We, had some guys, and I think Brenton Williams got the ball one time and just took off running. There were three people standing right there. I mean, you know, those things are going to happen uh, for, for newcomers in an exhibition <laughs> game. But all, all in all, I think you take some positives from it. We, we shot the ball extremely well. I don't know if we're going to you know, go 10 for 19 uh, from three uh, every game. If we do, it sure will help. Uh, but you know, I think we showed that uh, you know, with, with this system and this team that we've got a, an opportunity to make shots and guys that can at least do it. And so you know, that's a positive. So we'll, we'll take the positives. Uh, and try to build on those and, and any of the negatives uh, are, are things that we're just going to have to spend time on and, and keep getting better at. Darren, your uh, initial impressions of Anthony Gill in the game set? Yeah, I mean, you know, my impressions are um, probably just hit play uh, every time I get asked that question this year. My impressions are he's done what I've seen him do since the first time I ever saw the kid play. He just goes out and plays. Uh, you know, make, 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 makes a you know key play here or there that you know looks really good. And, you know, you're not really sure how great he played. And you look down the stat sheet, and he's got numbers. Uh, he's just a producer. Uh, that's what he does. I thought he uh, was terrific uh, on the offensive class in that stretch early in the first half. You know, he he, he missed more putbacks up in, in college game, first game jitters, and then in you know about a five minute stretch, and I've seen him missing <laughs> two and a half years of watching him play. So. But uh, yeah, I think uh, he's, he's going to be a really good player for us and uh, you know, did some really good things tonight. Darren, you mentioned the three-point shooting. Uh, was that kind of by design because you guys were hitting a lot or did you just you know kind of want to see what the outside would look like before you started going inside? But, you know, I mean, I, I think we actually established ourselves inside in terms of, of getting the ball inside. Uh, you know, again, we missed a lot of easy ones early on first play of the game. We going to the mantra. I thought he made a really strong, aggressive move. It just didn't go in. Uh, you know, but so I, I think we established uh, good inside things in terms of getting the ball in there uh, and, and getting the ball in the paint. Um, and, you know, really some of those came in transition, uh, which was a positive side there in the, sec in the second half. And so, you know, that was a really good thing to see as well. And so, you know, it's, you know, with this group, I think it's going to be, you know, we want to take what we what we can get and, you know, we really feel like whether it's, you know, a four-man like uh, R.J. trailing or, or, or Anthony driving or, or we posted Malik Cook uh, inside. He made a good move, just, just didn't go in. I, I thought he got hit and didn't get the call, you know, or it's, you know, Dem um, Damian Leonard or, or Brenton Williams. You know, we just kind of, you know, just kind of want to play. And, and, and I think our guys are confident in each other, and that's why you see – you know, I mean, 14 assists I mean, on 23 buckets, first time out, it's a pretty, pretty good number, pretty good ratio for that. So I think those, those, those things are positives for us right now. Coach, talk a little bit about uh, what you thought of the Kings play at point tonight. I, I, I thought there were some really good things. Uh, obviously, there's going to be things that, that, that we need to work on. Uh, again, you know, we've got to take care of the ball better as a team, as a whole. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not nearly as focused on one individual with that as I am our team. We didn't have anybody with a positive assist turnover ratio except Carlton Gathers. I wonder if that'll happen again this year. <laughs> you know, I mean, and so I, I think that, 
you know, that, that it, was a, it was a team thing as a whole. I thought he did a good job of, of trying to get us in our stuff and, and play the way a point guard uh, needs to play uh, and, and try to make others better. And, uh, you know, he, he's going to continue to get better like all of our guys will. Do you feel like Malik's buzzer beater before the half put some life back into a team before the second half? Yeah, you know, I think it did. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we looked like it was our first game out with a lot of new guys uh, early on. I, I think him making that shot. Uh, again, you know, that was a play, you know, for example, that, you know, Lakeem made where, I mean, you know, we, we hadn't worked on that. You know, we, we told him, you know, get Lakeem a ball screen, get Lakeem find somebody just kind of on the fly while he walked by me there at the end was four point whatever it was on the clock. And, you know, he finds Malik. And I think Malik knocking that down, I think, sure, uh, I think it helped. And, and not just because we got the lead, but just, you know, really any time that happens, uh, you know, I think guys get excited about it and feed off of it. Darren, anything in particular that RJ has improved on since last year that you've seen him? You know, obviously, he's getting more time now um, to kind of show what he can do. What have you seen from him in practice that has made him a particular better player in your mind? I think the biggest thing with RJ is that he's a sophomore and not a freshman. Uh, and the biggest part of that is strength and confidence. You know, he made some plays tonight that you know are plays that freshmen you know you don't make as a freshman. Uh, that, that he's able to make as a sophomore because he's stronger, because he's more confident. Uh, I think fundamentally speaking, you know, he, he's always been able to shoot the basketball, but I think he's better at being ready to shoot, understanding, you know, when, you know, uh, stepping into it, you know, all of those little things that lead to more made shots, which uh, he did a good job of tonight for us. Darren, I think Demontre might, might have got a cut above his eyes. Does it look serious, anything like that? It, it looks serious, but it's not. You know, blood on the floor. Uh, it looked uh, looked pretty rough, but uh, it's just uh, just a, a cut. I think uh, the trainer said he'd be fine. And you know, Demontre's a pretty tough kid too. I mean, he can take a hit. Was it nice to see your team be very resilient in the second half and be so dominant just to to start it off and obviously put the game out of reach? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. I, mean, I don't know if I ever felt like it was out of reach, especially there at the end. We turned it over a few times and they knocked one down. But I think the biggest thing with this team is we just want to keep focusing on playing the next play. Control what you can control. You know, that's your attitude. That's your effort. Uh, and that's, that's being fighters. You know, just, just being fighters, whether it's going your way, whether it's not going your way. Early in the half, it was that message in a positive way. We just got to keep playing. And then when we got up, it was that message in a, in a in maybe not so positive way that we can't let up. And I think that's... Well, that's what makes good teams, uh, and that's a, a trait that comes more often through experience because you've been through it and you understand it. Um, but it's one that you know we, we value and that we're going to try to teach these guys. And that you know, I think tonight they did do a good job of, uh, you know, all things considered. Damien kind of stuck on the three-point line there. Was that maybe by design, or are you going to have to maybe encourage him to, to go and drive for the basket a little more? Yeah, I, I think he'll you know, he'll he'll adjust uh, to making reads. Uh, you know, we we actually. Didn't run a play, but uh, an option off of what we're doing, and, and said, "Hey, let's look for him there in the second half." And I think he felt like, "Yo, I'm gonna get this one off," and, that, and the guy slid through the screen and was there, and, and, and he got it blocked. You know, those are things that are gonna come with experience. I thought he drove the ball really well uh, one time in the first half. Uh, that, that that led to something. I don't think we scored, but it led to something positive and broke the defense down. And you know, he'll, he'll figure out that college teams are gonna say, "Do not leave him open and run at him." And he'll he'll learn how to pick his spots, and and uh, because he can definitely do it, and, but. Again, I think we saw tonight that the great strength that uh, you know, we all love about him is that he always thinks the next one's going in, and uh, you know, the brighter those lights, I think the better he's going to be. In, in regard to Damian, bigger picture for him beyond tonight, just what, you, what does he kind of need to improve on in order to kind of get over that early freshman hurdle? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I think in some ways it's almost unfair to assess that. You know, after one game and, and you know, everybody needs to get better at some stuff. I, I think the things that he needs to learn and grow in are the things that all freshmen do. Uh, you know, talking on defense, staying disciplined defensively, uh, you know, reading things offensively because, you know, guys are a little bit bigger and longer and more athletic and some of that stuff. Uh, you know, but uh, they, oh, that's going to come. You know, the one thing that's been great about him is, as I've mentioned several times, he's been a real pleasant surprise in that his work ethic is – Tremendous. Uh, he's extremely coachable. You know all of those things. He's trying to be a good teammate. He learns. He really sees the game uh, very well. You know he, he had a, a situation tonight where you know he actually saw something first and, and, and alerted the other guys of it. The defensive situation. I mean he, he's got all of that. But, but like all guys, he's going to have to develop and continue to learn and grow. Anybody else? Thank you.